Good night, folks. That is the dollar bird. One of the um, blow-ins during summer, <laughs> a summer bird, if you will. They come down and breed in the um, eastern, northeastern Australia and southeastern Australia. I'm down on the south coast of New South Wales. These um, very, they're a member of the roller family, I know that. They got that broad bill, very orange bill, and a lovely sort of greenish, greeny bluish back. I'm actually filming this from my car, um, parked on the side of the road. They um, love to sit on a high, bare branch, but this guy's got the right idea. He's on a uh, electric electricity wire, and he's. Um, I'll show you how far away he is. Far away, but over there is black swamp and miles and miles and miles of bush, and he's going to sit up there and wait for insects and things to come flying out of the bush as they do. And he'll um, fly down and very aerobatically catch them on the wing and come back to his little perch and, and uh, gobble them up there. So another um, visitor, when I say blow in, I don't think they're a, um, a cuckoo, but uh, they arrive around the same time as the Channel Bill Cuckoo and the Eastern Coels to the um, to southeastern Australia. But they winter um, up north and New Guinea. So uh, like the like the channel bill cuckoo and birds of that ilk, they uh, spend most of their time up further up north. So they winter up north. This guy's wondering what the hell I'm doing, and so are the people that are driving past. <laughs> um, I thought if I get out of my car, he'll probably run away or <laughs> fly away. Um, I'm sorry I've been out of touch um, lately. Uh, I will try and rectify that. It's just I'm having a very slow recovery from this spinal surgery and uh, it's taking me a lot longer to uh, heal than I thought it would. Um, dollar bird, yeah, oh, that's all you probably know, but they're so named because they have this beautiful silver, whitish silver patch or circle under the underside of the wings. And when they were first discovered, they, uh, the, the, um, the naturalist that, uh, that named it thought that those patches looked like silver dollars, which were uh, amongst the currency of early Australia at the time. Uh, a lot of other, you know, um, currency was being used in Australia because it didn't have its own money. So, silver dollars and Spanish dollars, doubloons and reels and all sorts of coins were being used at the time. So that's the dollar bill. I think it might be the first time I've actually got one decently on f on film. I'm, I'm sorry he's so far away, but um, there you have it. Dollar bird, another summer visitor. They've got a really strange, scratchy, almost metallic voice. Very distinctive. When I first heard these guys, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a, um, some sort of frog. <laughs> or, uh, yeah, a frog I thought, and then I thought maybe some sort of different type of cicada. But it's these guys, the dollar bird. There you are. I'll try and get out and about a lot more um, during the warmer months now. I just want my back to get better and get better all around so I can head out and start doing more of this type of awesome stuff. All right, see ya.